will blow me down. Everybody and welcome to Get Gardening, I'm Alan Gray and today I'm standing in the exotic garden because over my shoulder you can probably see there's quite an exotic looking palm tree. It's blowing a hooli up there but down here it's calm but that's not always so. The trick with wind is to have enough shelter around you to keep it over your head but sometimes it comes down and it can do a bit of damage. Just come and have a look at this. Occasionally when the wind gets in it really does do some damage as you can see here. This is the trunk of a eucalyptus tree and it's gone completely over. In actual fact, if you follow my hand you will see that's not a shoot, that's a root. That's been ripped out of the ground by the fierce gales that we've had in recent years. Now we've sawn up the tree, the next thing we've got to do is dig the root out. When we first started to garden here there were no sheltered trees at all. So we had to derive our own form of shelter and this is it. It's a trellis and it's made relatively inexpensively out of tantalised timber roof laths. Tantalised means it's pressure treated against rot and these are actually made of pine. And what we did is we put in some stout uprights and then we ran these tantalised timber roof laths across horizontally and we put a diagonal strut across to give it extra strength and what that actually does it doesn't stop the wind but it slows it down because if, it, if the wind is hitting a hard surface it's going to go bang and over the top and it's also going to take an awful lot of strain on your trellis so it's best if you have gaps for the wind to actually go through and that's what we did it's so good they're doing it on Gardener's World if you don't want to put up trellis just put up some stout posts run some wire across and then grow some espaliered apple trees or espaliered fruit trees. All these lovely little twigs do exactly the same job. When the wind hits it, it slows down. Stays up above. <laughs> up above. <laughs> if you don't want the trouble of erecting a... <laughs> it's the word erect. It is, yeah. 